I'm, uh, I'm Levi Blodgett. I am the project leader and lead developer of Alone. I'm also, I basically do all the level design, uh, create all the scripted events, uh, may work on the whole file structure so that it's in accordance with the way the Gold Source engine works. Yeah, I've been working on this the past two and a half years, and I promise you there's more progress than the screenshots have so shown. I know people have been concerned about how the progress is going or whether or not the project's going to be cancelled. This is happening. Okay, the progress is being made. There's always progress been made. Um, it's just that, you know, I don't like to post a lot of screenshots because I don't want to spoil it, but I'm working on that. I'm working on posting occasional videos, music files, stuff like that. Uh, the first year, actually, of the development of the mod uh, was really just me learning how the engine worked. Um, I didn't know anything about level design or scripting events or even how the file structure worked. I didn't know jack shit about game or mod design. So, the first year I was mostly just creating maps and writing the story, kind of getting a sense of how I wanted things to go. Um, and I remember at the by the end of that year, after you know listening to podcasts and reading up on intuitive level design and how a level should be structured mentally and develop and progressive wise. I remember looking at all the the couple maps that I had made and said, yeah, these are garbage. <laughs> um, and so I either scrapped them or just over the next year, year and a half, did heavy overhauls and edits of them uh, to the point where they look completely different now. Uh, at the moment, I am working on the demo. Uh, which has been a pain in the ass. Not not as a whole, but there's this there's just a level trans transition bug that where it just crashes on it's on one specific level. It's only one. Uh, I have been pointed in the direction on the Cry Fear forum to a solution. Thank you, Zeke Shadow. The demo's coming. Okay, version 2.0 of the demo's coming. The demo will also feature a couple new maps that were not featured in the first version of the demo. In addition to not crashing, <laughs> um but yeah, so I use Jackhammer to edit, uh, to create all the maps. I used to use Valve Hammer Editor up until very recently. Like, I think it was about a month, month and a half ago that I started using Jackhammer. Um, to any of you who are using the Gold Source engine, I, I really suggest using Jackhammer because it just has a really much better UI. It's much easier to interact with. I talk, I talk regularly with uh, our music, des our sound designer, um... Quinn Blodgett, my brother, otherwise known as Aryuna Guatama, um, and you know, we talk, I tell him what I'm looking for in music. He's actually got a few tracks done, and uh, he's emailing me those in the next week or so. One thing uh, that you may have noticed is that I do the voice acting for Simon, and after a while I said, you know, I'd rather not do that. I, I, first of all, I don't feel like I have the right voice for a younger version of Simon. Second of all, I just, you know, even though I like, we, the whole point of the mod is to kind of expand on his backstory while still staying true with the general theme of what his character was and how it was presented in Cryfear, obviously we're not doing any drastic changes, um, I really just didn't want to do voice acting. Like, I enjoy, enjoy it, and I feel passionate about it, and I feel like I can do it decently. I would just rather get someone else to do it so I can focus on the uh, on the level design and scripting events and just general development. One thing that really helps about kind of how the team has grown a little bit, slightly, is that uh, we have a new weapons animator. I mentioned that in a uh, in a blog, an article post on ModDB recently. Uh, we have a new animate weapon animator. Um, he does, he's, you know, uh, so all the models that we use for first, for the weapons have were made by other people. Like, they were made by people on the Cry of Fear forum who put them out there and said, use these for your custom campaigns and your projects. So obviously we're giving them credit for that. Uh, so we're keeping the models as they are. However, um, our new weapon animator, Joseph, is actually, uh, re is actually reanimating several, not all, but several of the animations in each weapon. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, again, just the recap. Lead project, lead project leader, level designer, um, kind of director, I guess you could say. Uh, demo is demo is in progress and is coming out. Uh, more screenshots and maybe a video, small, a short video or two in the next 
couple m month or two. Um, and once the demo's out, project files will be updated. Uh, I'll put in, uh, I noticed some people were using them without credit, or one person at least. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up under um, Creative Commons copyright law. Uh, again, like, use it for your own projects, please. Like, edit the crap out of the maps, put them in your own projects. I want people to do that. That's why I put the project files up, because I want people to use it for their own things. But I also want well, not just me, but also the people who made the original models and assets to be credited. Uh, I think that's only fair. Uh, but yeah, this is a project that I've poured a lot of heart and soul into, and I'm, I'm excited for the demo to come out eventually. I think that uh, people will enjoy it. It has more content. All the bugs are fixed. Uh, there's a lot more polish on it. And yeah, I mean, you know, this is... Uh, this has been a really great project for me, and I'm going to continue working on it until it's finished, and then update it. Uh, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. I know I was gone for, like, the past year, um, but I really, really, really do appreciate even just little comments that say, hey, keep up the good work. Uh, it's really nice to see those. Um, I'm also thinking about opening up a Patreon. I still have to figure out how that would work, though. But anyways, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'll keep you up to date. Bye.